One night, when everyone was asleep, EJ crept out to the field. She carried a small bag filled with strange herbs and bones given to her by her grandfather long ago. EJ said some words of incantation and then scattered the herbs all over the field, hoping to stop the crops from the farmer's jealous wife who killed his dream. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a hard-working farmer named Eni. He loved his farm and his land so much that he spent every day planting seeds, hoping his crops would grow strong and big. Eni dreamed of providing a better life for his wife, E.J., and their children. But as Annie's farm began to do well, EJ became worried. She loved Annie very much, but she feared that if he became rich, he might want to marry a younger woman. This thought troubled EJ daily. She couldn't bear the idea of losing any so, she decided to do something about it. One night, when everyone was asleep, EJ crept out to the field. She carried a small bag filled with strange herbs and bones given to her by her grandfather long ago. EJ said some words of incantation and then scattered the herbs all over the field, hoping to stop the crops from growing. The next morning, Eni went to check his farm. He was surprised to see that the young plants looked weak and sickly. He tried everything he could to help them grow, watering them more, adding extra manure, but nothing worked. Season after season, Annie's crops failed. His neighbors had full baskets of food, but his own field stayed bared. Annie became very sad and confused. He didn't know what to do and why his farm wasn't doing well. So one day, he decided to visit an elder in the village a wise old woman who knew many things about the spirit world. Annie told her about his crops and his troubles, and she agreed to visit Annie's farm. The old woman walked slowly through Annie's field, touching the soil and listening to the wind. After a while, she turned to Annie and said, there is a dark magic in this land. Someone close to you is afraid of your success. Any was shocked. He couldn't think of anyone who could want to harm him in any way. The old woman advised him to keep watch over his field at night to find out who was behind the bad magic. The next evening, Annie pretended and stayed awake. He hid himself near the fields. As the night grew darker, he saw a figure moving through the shadows. It was EJ, his own wife, holding her bag of herbs. Annie's heart sank. He watched as EJ sprinkled the herbs over the crops and made some incantations. This made Annie so heartbroken. So, the next morning, he confronted her. EJ, why are you doing this to me? Why are you ruining my crops? EJ began to cry, and through her tears, she told Annie the truth. I was afraid, Annie. 
I feared that if you became rich, you would leave me for someone younger. I didn't want to lose you, so I tried to keep you from becoming too successful. I am so sorry, my husband. Annie was hurt, but he understood EJ's fear. He took her hands and said, EJ, my wife, I lost you for who you are, not because of money or anything else, but because of your fear. We have now both suffered a great loss. You've ruined our farm, EJ. You've ruined our farm. So they seek the help of the old woman again. As she returned to help remove the bad magic from the field. Together, they cleansed the land with water from the village sacred river. Slowly, the cross began to grow again, healthier and stronger than before. From then on, Annie and E.J. walked together on the field, side by side. They learned that love is built on trust and not fear. As the farm flourished, so did their marriage. Annie never looked for another wife, and E.J., Never worried about losing him again. Do you know that agriculture is very important for East Africans? It is the main thing that East Africa sells to other countries. The region's main crop for selling are cocoa, coffee, and cotton. Tanzania, a country in East Africa, has a lot of productive lands for farming. The weather is good for growing many different kinds of crops. In Tanzania, they grow mostly food like maize, rice, and cassava. There are also chances to invest in bigger farms and in turning crops into products. Thanks for watching Love from the Classic Stories.